Hello. I want to start by asking you to think about your favorite brand and why you like it so much. Now, it can't be the brand that you work on. Think of a brand that you use or that you come across regularly or one that really resonates with you. Think about why you like that brand so much. Got an idea? Okay. Well, I'm willing to bet that when you thought about your favorite brand, you didn't think about the brand's logo or its ads or its social media feed. You probably thought about what it was like to experience the product, use the service, go to the location or interact with the employees. In other words, you love a brand because of what it does for you. People love brands for what they do for them and how they make them feel. In other words, people love brands for their customer experience. And customer experience has become so influential today that you could say customer experience is the new marketing. It shapes brand perceptions and produces business results just as powerfully. Results such as increases in revenue of five to 10%, greater customer loyalty, and significantly lower marketing and other costs. So I think it's safe to say that everyone's goal here is customer experience excellence. I mean, that's why we're all here. We, everyone shares this goal of customer experience excellence. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you achieve customer experience excellence? But before we do so, we have to acknowledge that there are some significant challenges to getting to CX excellence. Now, some challenges are external such as customers' expectations, which have been elevated by the best companies in the world, you know, from Amazon to Uber, who are training them to expect to get what they want, where, when, and how they want it, and that's what they expect from you. And this is true not only for consumers. The CX software company Lumoa has found that B2B buyers expect the same buying experience as consumers do. And, and you know this to be true if you think about your own professional life. And most companies understand customers' expectations have been elevated, so everyone, all companies, are trying to improve customer experience. That's why nearly three quarters of companies surveyed by Forrester say that improving customer experience is their number one priority. So it's likely that everyone else is getting better just as you're getting better. And so your competition has been elevated as well. Now, some of the challenges of getting to CX excellence are more internal. The amount of data readily available to advertisers these days is in decline. First party data by definition is limited in scale. Moreover, collecting that data across channel, channels and sources is complex, and then aggregating and integrating that data while ensuring privacy and accuracy is really difficult. So there are a lot of challenges to CX excellence, but perhaps the most important or the biggest challenge to CX excellence is that improving CX is only half of the equation. Yeah, you heard me right. Working on customer experience alone is not enough to get to the results that you're seeking. Improving customer experience won't get you to become one of those favorite brands that we just talked about. Now, to understand this, I have to step back for a moment and share with you what I learned when I was writing my first book, What Great Brands Do. I studied some of the world's greatest brands like Nike and Starbucks and Apple, and it was very clear that those great brands started building their brands through their organizational culture. I learned that great brands are built from the inside out. And I found this to be true in the, my 25 plus year career working on other world-class brands and speaking to organizations around the world like these. In fact, I learned that your culture is so instrumental to your brand that your culture and brand really shouldn't be separate. You know, independently, culture and brand may be some of the most powerful, if unsung, drivers of business, 
But when you fuse the two, when you create an interdependent, mutually reinforcing relationship between how your organization thinks and acts on the inside and how it's perceived and experienced on the outside, you unleash power that isn't possible by cultivating one or the other alone. You see, in nuclear physics, fusion is the reaction that happens when two atomic nuclei come together. Nuclear fusion releases tremendous amounts of energy. It's what powers the sun. It's a little like this. When fused, the two atomic nuclei create something entirely new. And that's what happens when you fuse brand and culture together. A definitive differentiated company culture contributes to a definitive differentiated brand. And an extraordinary brand can support and advance an extraordinary culture. The companies we've all admired for years, like Nike or Southwest or, or Starbucks, as well as newer companies that have successfully disrupted the world as we know it, like Amazon and Airbnb and Salesforce, they are all powered by brand culture fusion. And that's what my most recent book is about, Fusion, how integrating brand and culture powers the world's greatest companies. And in the book, I share how brand culture fusion is so powerful because fusing your brand and culture first aligns your workforce. It increases the efficiency of everything everyone does and the quality of the outcomes because people aren't wasting time trying to figure out what is the right thing to do or working at cross purposes. And your organization is able to attract and retain people who are motivated and unified by a common goal. Brand Culture Fusion also helps produce the kinds of customer experiences that end up being your best marketing because everyone in the company is inspired and equipped and empowered to interpret and reinforce your brand in every touch point. And everyone designs and delivers customer experiences that bring your unique brand values to life. And by fusing your brand and culture together, your brand passes the customer test of authenticity because your brand is grounded in and guided by the same principles that your organization is. And so you truly are on the inside what you say you are on the outside. And so the people are more likely to trust you and then therefore recommend and promote you. So if brand culture fusion is starting to make sense to you, then the question becomes, well, how do you achieve brand culture fusion? Well, one of the primary ways is to recognize that customer experience is the most important expression of your brand and employee experience is the most important expression of your culture. So just as brand and culture must be fused, CX and EX employee experience must be fused. You must integrate and align customer experience and employee experience. And just so I make sure we're on the same page about what I mean when I say EX, employee experience, I mean the sum of everything an employee experiences throughout his or her connection to your organization. EX involves every employee interaction, every touch point, every transaction, every interaction. From the first moment they become aware of you as a potential employer, and it builds up through all the daily experiences through to the end of employment. Now, importantly, at EX is not new and improved human resources because EX involves disciplines and interactions that usually fall out of, outside of HR, such as facilities or corporate communications, IT, marketing. It's also not employer or employment branding. You know, companies need to develop an external reputation to, as a great employer to attract new employees, but EX is about the day-to-day -day experiences that an organization provides for its existing employees. And EX is not just about giving great perks and parties. You know, feel-good tactics like free gym memberships or foosball tables in the break rooms are simply that, they're tactics. And your EX may end up including some of those tactics, but EX is a strategic initiative. 
that involves designing and delivering unique experiences for your employees so that your employees aren't just happy, but your employees are happy and they produce the right results. And EX has become a critical priority for companies, but improving EX alone is also not the answer. EX will only get you so far. You need to connect EX and CX. EX is the other half of the results equation. CX plus EX equals results. And in fact, EX is the key driver of CX, and I'll give you three reasons why. The first is that employees can and will only deliver experiences to customers that they experience themselves. When employees have the kind of experience that an organization wants their customers to have, then they understand what make, what's involved and how it makes them feel, and then they start to appreciate how important it is, and then they can intuitively make decisions that make that experience possible for customers. And to be clear, I'm not talking simply about an organization being nice to its employees so their employees will be nice to customers. I'm talking about, for example, if a, an organization wants their customer experience to be tech enabled and seamless and intuitive, they're not going to get there if everything they do with their employees is slow and bureaucratic and on paper. Second, EX drives CX because many customer issues are actually employee issues in disguise. When you dig beneath the surface of customer complaints and problems, you often find that many result from gaps or inconsistencies in employees' skills or knowledge, or the result of ineffective policies and outdated systems that negatively impact employees' attitudes and their ability to do great work. And finally, EX is critical to CX because today's business environment demands that all data be available and integrated. You know, everything, everywhere, all at once is not just the title of some trippy movie. It's really the need that companies have for full visibility to understand what's going on and why, especially given how complex and multidimensional business has become today. So getting to your goal of CX excellence requires you to work on EX and CX, which means you have a decision to make. A decision whether or not you are willing to change how you think about and work on CX. Whether or not you're going to apply digital transformation as much to EX as you do to CX. Whether or not you're going to integrate and align CX and EX data and tools and processes. And you need to decide because doing so is hard work. It requires you to break down silos between different groups that think that they own one or the other or want to work on CX or EX independently. And that means overcoming the politics and the power plays that will inevitably arise. And you also have to decide that EX, which can seem like an inward, longer term, less sexy discipline, is actually as important as CX. And so it's worth your time and money. And so you might decide that this really isn't for you, you know, or maybe the time isn't right. But the fact that you are participating in Activate today, um, the fact that you are here trying to improve yourself and improve your business tells me that you are committed to getting to CX excellence. You're willing to do whatever it takes. So if you're with me, then in the next few minutes that we have, I want to share with you three actions to fuse CX and EX. These are the actions that will produce the CX excellence that you're seeking. So number one, provide visibility to customer and employee experience. Business leaders today need a complete view of the interlinked customer and employee experience. So instead of producing separate data sets and dashboards, integrate KPIs from both areas into a single dynamic report. That's what MedExcel does. MedExcel is the largest sole provider of healthcare facility services in the US. And to address the inconsistencies in their service delivery, MedExcel created a site level metric to assess how each site was doing on customer relationship health, 
customer transactional performance and associate or employee engagement. And it developed a dashboard to summarize the performance of each site. What's more, the managers who were responsible for the data and dashboard ensured that the customer and employee data was shared at the same time in the same session with leaders. And now the company identifies what it calls engaged excellence by site based on the combined results of EX and, e and CX. As a result of this integrated visibility, Medexcel reports that they have stronger relationships with customers, heightened employee engagement, and accelerated business success. The second action to fuse CX and EX and to get to CX excellence is to integrate customer and employee journey maps to identify and diagnose problems. As I explained before, oftentimes the problems employees experience internally are neg negatively impact customer satisfaction. And the way to discover where, when, and how these things are happening is to correlate and calibrate the journeys of customers and employees. For example, at Best Buy and its employee journey mapping efforts, it discovered that employees were having trouble adopting a new POS system. And at the same time, it saw that customers were complaining about long waits at the checkout stand. So it used employee research and an, employee, and an experience design approach to improve the system and to bring in new technology that reduced the POS training and transaction time. These changes reduced frustration for employees, increased efficiency for the company, and improved customer experience. These are the kinds of results you can produce when you look at the journeys of customers and employees together. Now, since I know I'm speaking to a lot of data scientists, search engineers, IT specialists, I want to acknowledge that your company may charge the marketing department or the ops group or maybe even a dedicated CX team to develop journey maps for customers. And then at the same time, your HR group might be responsible for employee journeys. So you may not be responsible for these efforts, but your expertise in data and analytics can make those maps and the solutions they point to more accurate, more targeted, more predictive. So it's important that you understand and can advocate for the full potential of the value that you're able to contribute to the business. The last action today to fuse EX and CX is to connect employees and customers directly. And not only frontline employees, every employee in your organization should have an opportunity to, turn, to interact with or at least observe customers in person because every employee impacts customer experience in some way. Consider how Adobe set up listening stations where employees can go either virtually online or physically in an Adobe office location to listen in on customer support calls or to observe customers as they are in an Adobe store. That way, all employees hear from customers directly. They learn about their successes, their challenges, what they're trying to do, and then all employees are informed and inspired to create solutions to help the customers. Adobe also hosts what they call experience-a-thons, which engage employees in using Adobe's products and services. So employees get a better understanding of what it's like to walk in their customer's shoes. And it also gives product managers an opportunity to observe while employees acting as customers undergo a series of tasks or take on a mission. And that way these product managers glean insights into the most important improvements that they need to focus on for the next product release. So those are the three actions and these and three quick examples to how to get to CX excellence by CX plus EX fusion. Provide visibility to employee and customer data and a single dynamic integrated report. Integrate customer and employee journeys to identify and diagnose problems and connect employees directly with customers. Now, I know these actions, which have taken me only a few minutes to describe, require a lot of work, different work, new work, 
So it's not easy. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it, but they're not. So now that you know the complete equation for producing results, put it into action so that you can get to your goal of customer experience excellence. Now is the time to get started. Dive in, don't wait. Oh, but there is one more thing or actually a couple more things. When you take on this work, not only will you see improvements and get to customer experience excellence, but when you fuse EX and CX, you will also help your organization produce employees who are committed to your organization because they want to be part of creating great experiences and contributing to your company's mission. You'll help produce employees who will go above and beyond what's expected of them because they feel connected to customers and to each other. And you'll help produce employees who are not simply productive, but they actually produce the right results. And ultimately you'll experience many benefits like the other companies that have invested in deliver superior experiences to customers and employees, including being able to charge a premium of as much as 16% for their products and services. And perhaps most importantly, when you take on this work, your impact extends far beyond your current role. You get to play a leading role in shaping the future of search and AI and business in general. You will be entering uncharted waters as the leader. And so then you become the ones that everyone else follows. You hold the future in your hands. Thank you very much.